Greetings everybody, it's Scott from Just a Normie. I just wanted to do another update on another show that has been announced called The Bad Batch from our Disney Plus series and stuff. It's going to be anime, of course, and it will take place, from what I could tell, about at the end of the Clone Wars and stuff. I'm not sure if they're going to be still with the Empire because the information that's coming out about it talks about that they're struggling to find work and all that stuff so I'm assuming they're on their own and have left the Empire and stuff which I would assume that they would you know um, it's an interesting concept I think they always had this in the pipeline and all that after season 7 of Clone Wars that last like 9 episodes and stuff and I thought that the Bad Batch were a pretty interesting uh, uh, concept group, you know, and all that. Um, they're like clones, like, I guess they were part of the old clones that were more independent and could work as like a commando group and all that stuff, but like something happened to them and all that. So I'm not really sure, you know, um, their backstory um, very much and stuff, but everybody is in that group is very interesting and all that. I, I think that, um, I think the way that Disney Plus is going with their Star Wars brand, I think it's a way for them to reshape what they destroyed in the in the movie franchise. And so I think this is the better way that they could go, you know, and all that. Um, you know, anime is not too bad, you know. Um, I really enjoy the Clone Wars. A lot of people don't. So, but the thing is, is I like about the Clone Wars is it really fleshes out Anakin and the character, stuff like that versus the movies do, you know. And it really fleshes out Maul. It fleshes out so many really good characters that we've never seen on screen, you know. And so, I mean, even Ahsoka. I mean, Ahsoka started out as like a a little a little child basically, that was assigned to Ahsoka. I mean, to to Anakin by by Yoda. And stuff, and you know, she was in Star Wars Rebels, and she was pretty good there. I liked it too because there was uh, Rex was in that, you know, and all that. And um, you know, there's there's talk of even doing a a live action Ahsoka uh, show and all that on Disney Plus. That's why I think that they're reshaping what they they destroyed in the movie franchise. Um, and I think this is a very good direction for them to take, you know. Um, you know, that because granted, you know, we're, we're here in the beer bug and everybody's on shutdown, reopen, lockdown, reopen, so on and so forth. So it's kind of like, um, you know, nobody really knows anything, but I mean, I, I can't see any of this stuff coming out until, you know, unless they got ahead of it before the beer bug came out or they're just starting on it, you know what I'm saying? But I think that, um, they should... Uh, look at um, how they can approach it and stuff like that. Um, but some have said that it might come out at the end of the year and stuff too as well, or at the beginning of, of 2021. I I don't know. You know, um, Hollywood is is really in a pickle um, with this beer bug situation and shutdown and everything else. So um, my my opinion of it is it's way overblown. I don't know what your opinion is. If you want to let me know in the bottom, go ahead. I'm okay with that. Um, I think that, um, furthermore, I, I think that um, Disney's doing a, a course correction. I mean, we're not even going to get um, like a Comic-Con for Disney and stuff like that until you know Star Wars Celebration and all that until I think they said 2022 and they stated that by that time uh, Kathleen Kennedy the destroyer of franchises will pretty much be out the door by then if she's not before that but you know the disasters that have surrounded the Star Wars franchise and stuff like that after this beer bug and stuff like that they're gonna have to have proven brands and franchises and what people know and love in order to bring people back into the theaters, online streaming, they're going to have to make things for what they are. 
and they are going to have very tight budgets none of this no more paying or uh, you know dishing out 200 million dollars for uh, a movie you know what I'm saying and I think it's probably a good thing you know not even for the the I know that uh, from my understanding the cartoons and the live action and stuff like that like the Mandalorian and stuff they're pretty costly I guess it's like nine million dollars per episode I personally think they should probably cut that back to almost three million you know and stuff I I would rather have a really good story than have it all flashy and clean you know what I'm saying and stuff that's why I kinda like I enjoy a lot of the Star Wars and Star Trek fl uh, fanfics and stuff like that you know you could see the flaws and stuff like that but I can overlook all that for good good con good story good content you know what I'm saying and stuff and that, that comes from someone who's a normie and stuff you know um, I think that it's I think if a director <clears throat> which is an artist as well too or a writer and stuff can bring it to the screen on a lower budget I think that says a lot about the person you know and I think it also also creates this environment where they have to be a lot more creative and there's nothing wrong with that you know what I'm saying I mean I've mentioned it before if you go back to like Deadpool and all that Deadpool for example was um, it was, um, I think it was on, I think, uh, I think it was $50 million budget, I think, or $40 million budget, and then I think there was another $30, $40 million for the, uh, campaign, the ad campaign, which was ingenious, stuff like that, you know, and it almost, it almost hit a billion dollars, you know, so, and I think the second movie almost did the same thing. They upped the budget by maybe about a hundred million, so or like I think it was like eighty million, then another thirty million for advertising and stuff like that. You know, and I think that's still not that bad though. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I I think that you know Hollywood really need to re needs to reflect on themselves, and they need to restructure badly. So I don't know Hollywood. I've never worked in that industry and stuff. I'm an IT guy by profession and stuff. But I think that if you look at the way um, things are going and where they're going to go and stuff, I think that um, we could be getting better content down the road. And I only say that because, you know, I, I'm, I'm being a little optimistic, you know. Sometimes I just want to kind of throw away, you know, Star Wars and, and never look back just as I have done turn my back on Star Trek and stuff. I don't really care for Star Trek anymore. They've basically completely destroyed Star Trek, you know. Uh, the franchise is basically in the toilet and stuff, you know. Um, I would appreciate, you know, if they would get back on track. As of now, Viacom CBS is going down the tubes. They're going to have to file bankruptcy, so we don't know where that franchise is going to go, you know. But getting back to Star Wars and stuff like that, I, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't know what they need to do to get to rewrite um, the ship when it comes to Star Wars and stuff. There's a lot of fans like myself and so many that have basically turned their back, you know, because they've absolutely destroyed the franchise, you know. And um, I don't know how they get that back, you know. I mean, I think once Kathleen Kennedy and her agenda and wokeness and intimidation and, and hostile work environment is gone... And Favreau takes over, or even Feige, because they've been talking that uh, Kevin Feige over the MCU might be coming over and taking over the Star Wars universe. And um, I think that would be the best thing that they could do. So um, I just want to thank you, and um, I want you to um, just like and subscribe. I think that um, you might like this. Let me know. Um, I appreciate everything you've done. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Bye.